Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to teach you how to make poi, which are used for traditional song and dance in New Zealand. To make the poi, you'll need plastic bags. If you have lots, that's great. We don't have very many in New Zealand, so I have one big one that I'm going to use, and I'm also going to use some newspaper. And then I've got three different colors of wool or yarn, and some sellotape, and some scissors. So that's what you'll need to make the poi. Let's get started. So because I'm using a big plastic bag, the first thing I'm gonna do is cut a square out of the plastic. If you've got lots of plastic bags, you can do it slightly differently which I'll explain as I go as well. So I've now got a rough square cut out of my plastic bag. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't matter too much. So now I'm going to scrunch up some newspaper. And I want it to be in the shape of a ball. You want to compact the newspaper down quite a bit because you want it to be a reasonably solid ball. Also, if you do have lots of plastic bags, what you can do instead is just stuff a bunch of plastic bags inside another plastic bag and make a ball in the end of the plastic bag. So now that I've got my ball, I'm gonna stick it on top of my square in the middle and I'm gonna bring all the edges up together like this. I'm then gonna cut a little piece of string doesn't have to be very big I just want to tie my plastic bag now that that's tied in place I can cut off the excess little bits of wool the next thing I'm gonna do is take each of my colors of wool and cut a piece about the length from my fingertips to my elbow and I'm gonna cut three pieces the same length of each color. Now that I've got three strands of each color, I'm gonna tie a knot in the end of them. And now I'm gonna use my tape to tape it to the top of this box next to me so that I can braid it. So I'm gonna take the three strands of each color and braid them. Once I get to the end, I'm going to tie another knot and then I'm going to take it off the tape, trim whichever ends shorter and then you're going to use the long end to tie it around your ball. You're gonna to want to tie it nice and tight. Once you've tied it, you can trim off the excess string again. And here's your finished boy. I'll put a link in the description of the YouTube video to a couple of videos you can use to learn some songs and dances that you can do with them. Usually you want two, so you might want to make another one and then learn some things with it. Thanks for watching guys.